welcome to Tom's Aviation. I hope you enjoy the next video and subscribe. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm with Airbus Helicopters up here at beautiful Oshkosh. Um, ten days of, uh, of fun and, you know, with all the aircraft and everything and just wrapping up for the day. But uh, out here on a beautiful sunny day and with the A-Star. Um, this is a uh, 2014 uh, AS350. Uh, we market it as the H125. Um, up here just showing it off to, uh, to all these people. You know, everyone up here is mainly a, a light aircraft type of person they don't really have much knowledge about helicopters other than like military air medical so having the opportunity to talk about how helicopters integrate in your lifestyle uh, just how versatile they are it's a great opportunity to get to, to, to talk to people and broaden their horizons about why you would might get you know take a look at getting into the helicopter world so as I mentioned this is the uh, the H125 it's seat six four in the back two up front it's very comfortable if you notice because it's four in the back and only two up front from a pilot perspective you actually have a lot more room than a lot of other helicopters that are out there um, when you're seated two up front and like two in the back they're much more narrow and uh, up front you don't have quite as much arm room much space so you know you got to think about this uh, you know if you're flying for your own self it's comfort but if you are using this for like utility operations firefighting law enforcement something along those lines you know this is your office for the day so the more comfortable the more space you have the ability to even put a coffee cup on the floor um, and be able to you know to, 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 to operate and spend multiple hours in it you want more space operating the new uh, the new Garmin G500 TXI so it's a touchscreen um, fantastic setup um, this one doesn't have it, but this model now is uh, able to have the new GFC 600 from, from Garmin. It's a three-axis autopilot. It's absolutely amazing. Best autopilot for a single-engine helicopter on the market. Um, this helicopter is owned by one of our customers. They're based out of Chicago, um, and it's got this absolutely beautiful paint scheme. Right. Yeah, if you're uh, if you're unfamiliar with the A Star, the A Star is actually the only helicopter to ever land on the top of Mount Everest. Oh, wow. So from a performance standpoint, single engine helicopter, it is by far the most capable single engine helicopter on the market. Yeah, so from a uh, from a performance standpoint, basically any helicopter that's operating up in the mountains. If you ever watch the the Red Bull movie, The Art of Flight, which is not about flying, it's actually about extreme snowboarding. I mean, that, that movie is an advertisement for the A-Star. It's amazing to watch these things flying off those mountains. But, uh, you know, air medical aircraft, search and rescue aircraft, pretty much any single engine helicopter that's operating up in the mountain environment, those companies are going to be operating this machine. You know, it's a combination of everything from the, uh, from the aerial 2D engine that we operate in this, um, about 952 horse, to how our rotor system is designed and set up that gives it such extreme performance that it can that it, that it can operate safely and effectively at that at those altitudes and you know with the uh, the machine that we that we flew to the top of Everest it wasn't a modified aircraft it wasn't a trick we took off some of the extra weight got rid of the extra seats things like that but it was it was an A star wow. so wow. if you want to step to the other side we can show one of the cool things that we offer with this machine this helicopter also has a, uh, a really good lateral center of gravity unlike some of the other aircraft that are out there and so what you can do is you can mount things to the side of the aircraft so from a, like a law enforcement perspective um, you can actually have a hoist on the aircraft that hoist can swing out you can truly do effective um, hoist work rescue work um, because you can hoist outside the skids and then you can also mount things like bike racks or utility baskets so again Overwhelmingly, if you see a helicopter, single engine helicopter doing a uh, doing um, heli skiing, operating up in the mountains, dropping skiers or snowboarders off, it's going to be an A star. Um, the basket um, people who are using this helicopter to do wine tours, what they do is they'll land at the winery and then you pick up your cases of wine, you throw them in a basket that's mounted to the skids, jump in, head to the next winery, and then the way we got this one configured, we got it set up with the bike racks. So you know, you want to go, yeah, come take a look. So the bike racks are from a company called Dart Aerospace. They're out of Canada. They offer um, one of the largest selections of, of aftermarket components for, uh, for, for helicopters. And uh, they were gracious enough to allow us to display their bike rack, bike rack this week. And, and uh, just to show one of, the, one of the lifestyle options of what you can do with a helicopter. We got the campground set up last day, so we already took the tent down. But the idea is to, you know, this is, this is Oshkosh. You look at all of the tents set up under the wings of all these airplanes. People understand that, right? You land your airplane, set up a tent, 
Well, you know, it's the same with a helicopter. Yeah, so uh, the H125, again, is a, is a very high-performing aircraft. It's, uh, it's empty weight, I'm gonna use some round numbers, but it's, it's empty weight is roughly about 3,000 pounds. Internal max gross, you can go up to about 5,500 pounds. And then when you're hanging stuff off the hook, you can actually go up to 6,500 pounds. So effectively, an A-Star can come over, hover over this, and pick up and take off with it underneath. So um, it cruises, you know, typically we cruise around 120. Um, it'll cruise, you know, up into the low 130s. Um, so as far as a helicopter goes, it's actually, it's, you know, it's quite fast, right? Airplanes, you got that propeller off the nose, pushing all that air back over the wing. Everything about an airplane is set up to, to, to fly yeah. forward and do what you need to do. We have to be set up to be able to hover. So all, air, all of our airflow has to be down. We got a little bit of a tilt. You probably can notice that. There's a little bit of a forward tilt already to the, to the rotor system um, with the gearbox to give us a little bit of a head start to flying forward. Um, but you know, helicopters aren't the fastest things. They're not meant to be. They're meant to do hovering and, and you know, uh, uh, water baskets for, uh, for buckets for, uh, for firefighting, those types of things. So, yeah. And then what about endurance? Um, endurance, you know, it, again, again, endurance is, uh, is if, if you're talking about the furthest you can go, you know, it's, it's not really the helicopter mission, but we'll fly about three hours, 250, 300 miles is, is about what you can do. You hold um, a little over 140 gallons. Um, and typically on this, you're gonna burn roughly 50, 52 gallons per flight hour, um, typically how you fly. So max, you know, two and a half, three hours, 300 miles. One of the interesting things is the number of people who don't even know that Airbus makes helicopters. But same as when you go out to the airport and you jump on a Delta or United flight, and you know, sometimes it's a Boeing 737, sometimes it's an A320. The same company that builds those, aircraft, those airplanes, this is one of our helicopters. So if you have any interest in taking a look, you know, please check out Airbus.com. You can check out our whole line of airplanes and helicopters, figure out if it's something of interest, and you can you know, find our contact information to reach out. Yeah, thank you for watching.